Caitlin here. Today I'm going to show you how to make your very own plant hanger. If you're like me and once you got into plants, you wanted to get a plant hanger. And maybe you even wanted to make them, but you didn't know how. So I went on Etsy to see what I could find and I found some plant hangers that cost an absurd amount for some things that you can make on your own. It's super easy. You'll find out soon. Check it out. So the only things you're going to need is some rope, which I got for $2 at the dollar store, and some colored thread. You're going to start by measuring out how tall you want your hanger to be. Fold the rope in half, doubling the length, and then cutting and repeating, ending up with three pieces of rope folded in half. Now that you got your rope, you're going to find the center and then move down to where you want your loop to start. This is where we're going to start weaving. Tie your thread in a double knot around the rope and wrap the thread around the rope, laying down the excess string from your knot and wrapping around it. This will hide your thread and will give it a clean finish. Once you've reached the other end of your loop, fold it in half and continue wrapping the whole bundle. Start a little higher on the thread so that no rope peeks through. When you're finished with your first color, cut and tie the new color of thread together. Continue wrapping, remembering to lay down the cut ends to hide any loose thread. Do the same with your other colors. When you're finished, cut your string and tie a knot around your bundle of rope. To hide the loose thread, just move your rope and jam the thread back into the center of your loop. Scissors work perfectly for this. And your loop is all finished! Yay! Now you're going to find the point where your plant actually sits and start the process again. I know, it's a tough tutorial. Tie a knot around your bundle of rope laying down the loose thread as you wrap it around. Feel free to switch up your colors. I'm going in the same pattern as the top of my loop. And once again, when you're all finished, just hiding your thread in the center by jamming it in with scissors. Super professional and also really cute. Next, I'm just flattening out the bottom and trimming it so it's all even. I decided to make the end of each rope a different color, doing the same process and tying a knot at the end of each piece of rope. To finish the ends, I trimmed up the remaining rope with some scissors and then used a glue gun, though crazy glue may work better to wrap the remaining thread around the base. And you're done! guys for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you like it and subscribe let me know if you guys have any ideas throw me a suggestion in the comments I'd love to try out something brand new or help you guys on a project that you're working on so I'll see you guys next week bye